Dude, you still have advantage. What what are you doing? Oh well, it looks like I uh, was beaten by smoke. It's like, dude, it's a Cromwell. You have another what, two Panzer Fouls? He's advancing with the Cromwell, murder it! Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17, bringing you another CH2 replay. This is a 4v4 on steps. And we got ourselves PGI, Melifor, Pretty, PSR, Sabat, Arend, Jodel, and Conley. Okay, okay. Uh, let's double check their ranks real quick. Uh, by the way, if you want to submit a replay, you can do so via grayshotproductions at gmail.com or you can go to ch2.org slash shoutcast. I know you can also use Facebook. I don't, I recommend don't using Facebook or not using Facebook because of privacy concerns, but uh, just as a heads up. We can see here that it looks like the Allies have a decent lead over the Axis in terms of overall like total time in the game. But that being said, I, uh, again, rank doesn't matter. I've seen people with no rank be people with three stars. So, and people with three stars play terribly. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so anyway, we got, let's see, we got two Vermont, two OKW, two British, an American, and a Soviet. I will say the person who submitted this replay at the end of the replay, but I do want to give a shout out to them later on because, again, I want to highlight the fact that they sent me a replay. And now, if it's good or not, that will depend, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go. Anyway, Kubel opening fire. We have some British infantry kind of moving on in. Uh, let's see, we already have Spearhead, good mortar and support uh, weaponry. Breakthrough, good infantry and long range uh, tank destroyer. Uh, Jody with artillery, with Royal Artillery Regiment, so good direct strikes uh, with the Concentration Barrage art and artillery. Plus a little bit of recon. People forget about these early flares. They're really good. They light up the entire front line of the enemy. So, there's no way this guy is going to get close to this Vic. This Vic is just going to open fire and push this sucker back. And of course, if he comes around here, I'm assuming the Vicar. Yeah, we'll just face this way. Now, he is building his headquarters building now, but. It has to wait to the Volk Squad to be fit uh, to finish being made, and now it's being made, but it's too late. He has to fall back, and you have to make that in order to throw the incendiary grenade. So you know, kind of a negative there. Rifleman, a bit a bad fight. Uh, yeah, probably not. Oh, never mind. It might have actually been fine if they would have stayed there, because this uh, rifleman would have came in. It is low on health though, so you made the right call. Um. Wow, <laughs> MG42 opening fire, suppressing the riflemen. They retreat though. This vicar is just hiding in the building because why not? Huge allied presence up north. This guy is support spamming to the upteenth degree. But we have an MG42 in high cover with these guys on the other side. He's not going to be able to push because this barbed wire he can't like hook on to like some cover. It's all negative or no, so this MG will suppress and annihilate them. Connolly went armored assault tactics, so a lot of uh, really good T34 85s, aka upgrade 76. Variant T-34s, which are really good against most armored units. Um, and then he also got Stormbreak Strike, good against infantry, along with IS-2, which is good against the biggest, baddest heavy tanks. Eh, for the most part. You just make sure it's well supported. Wow, this British infantry squad literally just died. Should have retrieved that. Um, additional squads looks like are coming up. Or coming over, I should say. But it looks like the Vickers is trying to guard mid. Let's see. And with that, uh, yeah, it actually... From what I can tell, it looks like the Axis are, and the Allies are kind of even right now. Both have fuel, both have resources. You could say that, again, the island is currently being captured and held by the Axis. But, that being said, I wouldn't necessarily call that a victory because they don't have the caches. So, while, yes, they have the position, they're not getting any resources from it. it it's a, a great example would be, uh, was it, let, uh, Oh, God. There was a guy in Norway that proclaimed himself, like, the head of the Norway state after Germany invaded. The problem was, Germany, which, uh, for, like, a brief moment said, yeah, we'll take this guy, and then said no. So, he, even though he was the only, po like, power on it, like, that could possibly do something, he still had no power. He couldn't do anything, even in a position that was supported by the people with the power. It just didn't work. Because they're, and the Germans are like... Uh, yeah, we want actually elected by the people so we don't get uprisings for the most part, so, yeah. Or at least uh, elected by the people through representatives they sought or they recommended, so, again. 
Still with that twist, but definitely not not by him. And of course, everyone's like, oh, look at this guy. He thinks he's going to be the leader. Uh, speaking of which, both squad being pushed back. Oh, wow. That MG is so close to that. It's not even funny. Allied forces pushing on in. We can see here that, again, just a lot of forces coming in by Pretty. Although we have Vickers deploying, he's so close, though. I think he, if a couple shots and that, that thing is dead. Or just throw an incendiary grenade. That's fine. I don't think he needed it. Was that two? Did he throw two? Oh, okay. It's like a double explosion right there. Uh, again, we have a maximum opening fire because, again, it looks like he was able to take this area. And, again, he took it because he used artillery on this point. We, Connolly is using a lot of MGs right now and AT guns to kind of hold the north. Interesting strategy because, again, a good infantry push with smoke or something could probably push through. And before you say, well, great shot, what could he possibly use? One mortar... One mortar and mortar half-track properly placed would do a lot of damage. Or just, like, again, just flanking through a huge swath of territory and then dropping smoke. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, they don't... Wow, wait, did he go... Did they both go the same thing? Yeah, they both went the same doctrine. PSR, you, I mean, you're doubling up. Come on. I literally just did a game where the Americans did it. And it did not end well. Nice bundle grenade. Very lucky he took that MG and that squad didn't die. Uh, hold on, I may have spoke too soon. Anyway, we can see here with the, uh, officer, he's trying to push and use advantage for the infantry to fight a little bit better to kind of hold this point. Scout card coming in to help against the allied forces. Now, it looks like the axes have two points, so they're going to start putting pressure on the allies. And, and by pressure, I mean by, you know, the slow point drop. American forces trying to come in, AT gun still over here we have another mg coming in up north a half track coming on in we saw we've seen how this thing goes either really good or really bad in other games uh down south though this guy's not moving um which is kind of annoying because he needs to push here right now we can see here that this bridge player sabat is not pushing in the south so my recommendation would be for this German player to slowly advance. But right now, he's playing very defensive. I don't mind if you're cautious for cautionary sake, but one unit could easily go and prod that territory to try to get, capture it. And remember, that would be at least two points, which would be six fuel and ten munitions per turn that the Allies could be... I'm sorry, the Axis could be getting and the Allies would lose. And right now, we look at the resource-wise, and the Allies are just barely below... The Axis right now. So if the Axis took those, they would be at a severe disadvantage in terms of overall armaments. But now, we have a huge battle up north going on. And the Allies seem to be doing pretty well. A large infantry blob coming in with Volk squads. But there's enough Allied infantry and support equipment that they're going to hold. They're going to hold pretty well. Yeah, I, I don't see a way to for them to really push up. It looks like we have a sport gun opening fire, I would assume. Do you have a sport gun? Was that not a sport gun? I swear I thought that was a sport gun. Ah, I was right. Now he's running away. Cool. This is where we can where it would come into uh come into effect. A T gun just by itself. I'm MG in negative cover. Jesus Christ. A good flank up north could easily take back this entire sector. Or just moving an MG to flank would take back this entire sector. Sure, why not? Well, I did say flank. I didn't say which side. So we have an armored car slowly moving in. I'm assuming that they're going to go behind allied lines. I'm sorry, axis lines to try to knock out caches or something. The problem is he's versing up Vermok players. So he's not going to kill any bases. There's a pack gun literally in his way that you can see. So I don't understand what he's going to do there. There's Grenadiers blocking the exit point, so we can't just run out. Like, I, I, I'm i really curious what his pl overall plan is. Alright, Pack Gun opening fire. Gets a hit. Panzerfaust probably going to go out. Yep, there it goes. And Pack Gun will fire again. Gets a good hit. Panzerfaust gets the kill. I was going to say, oh, was that a kill or is that a decrew? But no, it was a kill. I, I, I just don't understand what that thing's plan was. That was a, a, a waste of an armored car. Where in actuality, if you push north, that vehicle pathfinding for F, for F6. And Volk Squad's moving on in. And a good old blob formation right there. Uh, British infantry managing to escape with barely anything. We have artillery coming in, but most likely, yeah, he's just going to walk away. And why wouldn't he? He's in a situation where it's like, okay, cool. I'm just going to go back and heal. You have fun now. It's just one of those things, like, I don't 
yeah, maybe you're just trying to delay them. But these guys are pretty well defended. Like, he, they have enough MGs to surely stop that. Now, we have an armored push up north. Looks like the scout car died. Armor piercing rounds. Nice armor piercing rounds, though. Probably this would be a better target. You can still see it's doing damage to the T-70. Like, it is actually doing quite a bit. Nice Panzer Shreks. Armor piercing rounds might have fired, but now out of range. T-70 using its range to now open fire. MG about to lose armor piercing rounds. They haven't lost it already. Oh, it's, no, it's already, it's recharging. Maybe he was using that, and then he had to pull back. Anyway, double Panzer Shrek groups. No way armor's pushing down here. Half Track had to pull back. We have double AT guns. Maybe they can move up and open fire along these positions and knock out that infantry, but unsure. Once again, British player just going behind enemy lines. This guy is literally camping. This guy's literally camping. The British player's not getting much ground, but Jesus Christ, PSR, you have advantage. You have the lead. T use it. Jesus freaking Christ. Actually, now he's been completely encircled. The British somehow managed to encircle... Oh my god. Just walk on up and take this entire region. He is very lucky his teammates up north are actually doing decently. Anyway, Volk Squad, oh, and along with Panzer Force Leaf Squad, better at longer ranges, are literally walking up to take out these AT guns. We have a Maxim, but it's all too late. He did lose an AT gun. Although a half tracks healed and back up, so now that will provide a supporting fire. Uh, how do I say A... I'm just going to call you Dappler because I can't say your name uh, else otherwise. Otherwise, I'm like, R Dappler, boy. Yeah, no. Um, infantry company going artillery. Um, again, long range fare as well. Mortar pit. So it's a good, like, longer range focus. A half track trying to get the hell out of there for Ken Warfare. Again, guarding that. Again, artillery, like I said, they kind of break them. Though this, I love this MG. It's just falling back. We still have the Panzer Shrek groups. Which, I don't think he realizes this. I also don't really think he realizes he just fucked himself. Oh my god. All four of them hit at once. That was beautiful. T-70 realizing the error of his ways is trying to get out of there. Iron piercing rounds could might have killed him right there. If he would have fired. It would have been very close. For Ken Warfare laying, uh, trying to set up. He has two T-70s. Dude, he got Panzer Shreks. Two T-70s will not help you in this situation. I could be very wrong. But... Typically, they don't. I'm also surprised that they don't. Oh, never mind. He's putting a medical down. I was like, why won't he heal? He is healing. He just put a medical down. Okay. So now he's going to reinforce his guys slowly but surely. And then, yeah, just reman them. Meanwhile, we have a flank coming in from this guy because, by God, if Green's going to do it. And, yeah, the Vic the MG42. Wait, what? They s Oh, they stole an MG42. Hey, now the OKW can get it back because, yeah, that thing is going to kill that squad very quickly. Oh, wow. You didn't focus fire? Guys, you have an MG. Focus fire. Take the sucker out. Like, it's not that hard. You want to neutralize it so that way the enemy doesn't have it. Though this MG is facing the wrong way. Hey, half track just having a field day. Just chasing down infantry. Oh, my God. It's... Ladies and gentlemen, it's the running of the folks. It's a... Great American pastime where we get a bunch of Germans and we chase them with an AA half track. Last one surviving wins. Oh god. Yeah, so that's a thing. Whatever. It's he's getting a lot of kills for this thing. And with that, veteran C, he's got 18 kills. So I mean like he's almost up to vet three. So pretty damn good. Axe is still gaining control of the northern sector. For the most part. A lot of artillery coming down, I'm assuming from mortar. No, probably mostly from AT guns if I do. Oh, no, he has a mortar pit. Never mind. Just opening fire in this region. Volk squad still on standby. This thing should probably move up. But whatever. They throw another artillery thing. And he sh oh, sorry. Another grenade. MG going down, but the mortar pit will start taking effect and start doing some additional damage. Okay. American forces trying to come in for the flank, but the Panzer headquarters is like, uh uh. Not happening. It's like, uh, 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 like the guy from Jurassic Park. Finally, this guy advances. Jesus Christ. Like, how long? How freaking long has he not done that? Like, seriously. He could push up, overwhelm the, uh, the these forces, which, by the way, a Piazza, it decreases their effectiveness versing infantry. And now he split them up even further. Cat just jumped by. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's very annoying. MG redeploying. Great flanking position on the Maxim. Usually Maxims flank other MGs because of their quick drop rate. 
and maneuver rate, but no, this this MG42 is outpacing these guys. It actually probably connect for the armor first rounds to do even more damage. Allied blobs in north now, uh, so that's an issue. Uh, does anyone on the Axis side have armor? All right, he has double. No, he doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're getting a panther. Okay. Melfor's getting a panther. PGI is possibly getting a panther. A panther warfare would probably be best to kill this shit. Dude, you have panzer shreks. So you're not going to do much for seeing LMGs. Hate to break it to you. Your best bet's just to pull back and heal that MG. Now, is this a Stuka shot coming in? You missed! Set it down. Set the MG down. Put the MG down. Now, as much as I'm fine with, like, this position, I think it should be out so we can heal. Oh, wait. No, they decruited. Never mind. What the hell? All right. What? Whatever. The good Volk squad uh, grenade. Imagine you pushing them back. Now, he needs to push the Grandiers up. Or is he still healing? I think he's still healing. Yeah, he's still healing. Okay. He needs to kind of take this territory back. Uh, meanwhile, at least this guy managed to push up and take this territory. I'll give him a little bit of credit. And hold on. Did you lose any great ears? You didn't. Okay, cool. You beat the British back. Keep advancing. Keep pushing. Keep doing something. Hi, cat. You're just hanging out, aren't you? Okay, cool. Anyway, I uh, don't know if you see her or if she'll be included once I clip it. But yeah, she's in the back right now. Bulk squad's opening fire, pushing back the British infantry, which, by the way, also surprisingly hasn't gotten the upgrade for it. Resource-wise, uh, let's see, 50 is a lot of manpower there, but overall pretty low. Mid-50s mid is probably where they're at. Um, and if the Allies, also around lower 50s, so it's about still an even fight resource-wise. Sabat has a ton of manpower. Holy crap. I don't know if he's just saving it up to really, like, deploy it in the south or what, but he has... 1400 manpower i mean like you probably could be doing something with it you could help build a mortar pit up here i don't know a 17 pounder I, anything anyway uh panther looks like the valentine tank didn't really stand a chance panther with panzer grandiers any armor units probably gonna have a really rough time if non-existent because they'll die uh let's see let's double check everything else shall we um yeah, resource-wise, income, the Axis are easily beating the Allies right now. The Allies need to really turn things around. Let's see. Dappler, what's your plans? You have artillery. You still have that amazing fighting force of long range. You have a Jackson and the awesome AA gun with now 20 kills. So that's pretty good. So. Oh, Grandier squad put, uh, getting, or, you know, running away. He did lose it. But it's not like he's rapidly deploying a force to counter it. He's building a panther now, which, if he gets down here in time, should be able to push back that Cromwell. Especially because, oh my god, he missed that mine. How the hell did he miss that mine? Pack on opening fire. He's going all the way around. Again, super surprised he dodged the mine. Uh, he has another AT gun up here, so I'm assuming he's just going to, yeah, redeploy them and give him a cross. He might be able to kill the, the this Cromwell before the panther even shows up. Which, by the way, he should know the Panther has been made, so. Bunker has been gone. Oh, my God. He's got the mine on the way out. That would be incre- Aw, oh, damn it. He missed it. Of course, he goes into the creek. Hit some of his own mine with the ET fire there. View out north. We have the Panther pushing on in. That's E70. is very ballsy. Very ballsy, indeed. Gets a- Oh, nice shot with the Jackson pushing back that Panther on the high ridge. AA gun preventing any forces. I like how usually the the middle star is usually the point of contention, but in this map, no, it's this one that's in for a bit of contention. Stuka coming down in a weird angle. You figure he would try to go for this general direction and hit all this rather than that, but whatever. Uh, 70 pounders now being made, so Jody, uh, sorry, uh, Jonel's apprentice is, uh, yeah, he's going to pretty much make sure lock this area down for uh, fighting anything. The best hope the ally... Oh, my God. Pretty has zeroing possibility. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and artillery. Now 70 pounders made. That panther needs to pull the he heck back. I don't think he's going to pull back in time. Nope. Gets a clean shot. I'm assuming... Yep, a, a T gun over here. Gets it and pushes them back. A double allied force protecting the northern star seems to be holding off any axis 
aggression in the area. Man, this MG11 kills. Been doing a damn good job. Problem, though. Big problem is this guy. Uh, right now, I would say Sabat is right now the weakest link out of the group. If this guy, literally, if this guy was not sitting and kind of advancing more, he could probably flank around and do a lot of damage versus these guys. Like, these Volk squads are getting the right idea. Push forward with the armored units, break them here, and force all the allies down from the north. Uh, the good news is, while they have the star, they're not winning by a huge amount of resources, so it's not like the Axis can't build up over time to counteract the allies. It's going to be difficult for sure, but it's not impossible. Especially with zeroing artillery, a good zeroing artillery shot here, and all this stuff is dead. Um, for pretty much. So Panther's on standby, we have additional infantry coming in, maybe some artillery. Melfor needs to really take this side. Oh! Huh. Hi. You wanna, you wanna participate? You wanna say anything to the camera? No? Okay. Thanks for helping, Cat. Very kind. She keeps jumping up and down, so of course I'm gonna try to get her on camera. Any case, uh, oh, good artillery strike. Try to knock out these bunkers. Again, good strategic point. Panther realizes, I'm not cut for this. I'm out. Peace. Long range fire from the tank destroyers pushing back to Jackson. Not going, not enough for a kill, and Panzer Strikes cause enough damage to the Jackson where I, pr I would not engage. Because this little buddy's gonna put an end to it. That's why you don't give chase unless you can get it with one hit. Typically. So. Anyway. They did decap this point. I guess the AA, uh, they w smoke did work. So they were able to capture it with Panzer Shreks. So nice idea there. Meanwhile, we have a push up in the south. And we have a Firefly that's focusing on infantry. And a Cromwell. Mass Panzer Faust along with a good Panther hit. Uh, pretty much cripples that Firefly. One last shot. Misses the hit. Cromwell dropping smoke. Great for the Panther. Just wait and then go. Oh, missed the shot. He tried to direct fire that. Dude, you still have advantage. What What are you doing? Oh, well, it looks like I uh, was beaten by smoke. It's like, dude, it's a Cromwell. You have another, what, two Panzerfaus? He's advancing with the Cromwell. Murder it. Take it down. This thing is making a mockery of you. Uh, and I'm being 100% serious. It literally is making a mockery. His panther fell back from a Cromwell. Why? Why? You have double AT guns on standby back at this place. You can move up one of them. He's waiting for the other panther. Okay, great. Wonderful. You could literally crush this guy in one single blow. And then you could flank up north. Knock out a lot of these caches. Hell, even take mid. You could literally take over... Another quarter of the map if you want to. AA gun, by the way, up to Vet 3. And I'll show you quick their variancy, which is... Yeah, it just makes it very, very annoying. Very annoying indeed. Big blob going in mid. I guess they finally gave up in the north. And I don't blame it. Looks like all the uh, Soviet firepower finally destroyed the bunkers. So that finally pushed him back. Please tell me that guy still has his MG. Oh, good. He still has, the, he has a three-star MG. I was thankful that the MG made it out of there. I mean, the Soviets currently have five of them, so I want at least one good German NG. Meanwhile, a lot of Panthers on standby. We have a good a good assault down south. Cromwell gets easily pushed back. Easily. These guys pushing in. Now, this is the time where you do recon. Realize that they're all, both pieces of armor are barely alive. Going for the kill and GG the game. And then I am done. I can walk away and end this replay. That's exactly what's going to happen, right, guys? Right, guys? That's exactly what's going to happen. Right? No, he's, he's going to heal. Okay. Big Panther push up north at the very least is happening. Meanwhile, King Tiger as well. Damn, 24 minutes. All right. Uh, managing to push back the SU-85. Might be able to get the kill. Very, damn, it does. And very close to the ambulance here, which could be very devastating to the allies if they get it. Smoke going down, so the SAR artillery, I'm assuming, was called in. Valentine Tank trying to hold, but realizing I don't have the caliber for this kind of mess. Recon, which is something PSR has, is not being deployed. And right now, but at least the Firefly is back up and running. Once again, putting into a circumstance that, why didn't you push when you had the chance? And don't give me that you didn't know stuff. You could have deployed Recon. 
artillery coming down for Katusha Fire Panther. Trying to get the hell out of there. A secondary Panther leaving it be. I... You have a Panther that's barely alive. You decide to take the one that's fully full health all the way back to base. Where in actuality, you probably wouldn't guarding the more injured stuff to make sure it's okay. Meanwhile, this Firefly realizing uh, the fight is better up north than down south decides to go that way. Finally, we have recon coming in. Jesus Christ. Uh, this guy's laying down teller mines. At least that's a smart move to make sure he can stop the, their forces a lot. Oh my god, Zeering's coming in here. That's a terrible... Why would you deploy recon? I'm sorry, Zeering, is that where the recon is? No, it's down south. Good. Suka bomb coming in, forcing the retreat. Like, here's my stance on this. Just hear me out. And, and I'm being honest here. Why would you call in zeroing, which is meant to clear all... I mean, you're getting out of time munitions, don't get me wrong. Why wouldn't you use it here? against all these fortifications so you could take the north. Like, that would be an immense amount of manpower lossage and also just population lossage for the British player, who, at that point, wouldn't really have much left of an army. Meanwhile, instead, what you do is you send your Panthers in just deep, not killing caches, not hitting anything yet. We have AT fire coming from the, the Rashlon squads. I swear, if you only kill a Valentine, but Valentine's fine, it's 300 manpower, it's not like it's not worth something. It is a good hit, but you, they, like, kill these caches, they're really, really screwing you right now. Great ears, just moving on through, I'm assuming you're putting more, okay, you're at least putting multiple teller mines, I'll give you credit there. Panthers coming in on a flank on the Firefly, at least they could, please kill it, please kill that Firefly at the very least. Okay, they at least killed the Firefly. They're at least helping their team. Uh, at the bare minimum, that's minimum. He still retreated into that. And, uh, well, only if he had a way to get out of there without being hit by enemy fire. If only he had a way to get out of there. Anyway, these guys all grouped together would make a perfect rifle grenade target. But fuck that. We're just going to walk away and hit the real target. Uh, this MG? Sure. Uh, we have a big old armor charge over here, but the 17 pounder taking its sweet, sweet time to reposition. AT gun opening fire over here. Uh, again, with 17 pounder firing this way, uh, start saying goodbye to the armor. Panther, nice shot on it. They got the T70, boys. That's what really matters. Panther making it out of there, barely alive as is. Allied forces having a rough time versus the Germans. But they're still holding. They're keeping things together. All this armor is currently damaged, but he could probably move back to the... Uh, yeah, there's a mechanical over here. and probably, you know, help speed up the repair process. Um, allied forces pushing down south. He now has another Cromwell. I'm sorry, sorry, same Cromwell. An um, my apologies. Another Firefly. Great teller mine, though. Managing, I think, to hurt the AT gun and cripple the Cromwell. Actually, really, really cripple the Cromwell. Uh, keep a position there. Be hilarious if he turns right to turn back and blows it up. That would be incredible. Anyway, lots of AT guns in the north. Also not great because for some reason he's keeping his armor literally within AT range. The only reason he's they're not firing is they can't they all have sight lines. Anyway, nice King Tiger shot and the infantry forcing it back. We do have a large grouping of, you know, rash along with bazookas, but the problem with that is the fact they well can't stand up to normal infantry. Two blobs going in the north. One really designed against the infantry and one not. Uh, yeah, I'll give you... I, I, the obols with the LMGs are... Oh my god, good frag bomb. Knocks out one of the AT... I'm oh, sorry, the MGs at least. A lot of AT is now full retreat. And Panther Force is still being healed. But they're at least retreating. The double MGs over here. You could probably move into her flank. Uh, I would say probably, but we'll see. Tiger moving in. Again, no AT gun coverage. So that makes perfect sense. I'm surprised he's, they haven't built a forward base. You figure, he, since with all these fortifications, he would do that. Maybe he's worried about the frag bomb. Not entirely sure. A lot of guys, if they're worried about like, direct strikes, they'll just keep their units retreating back to base in order to make sure they can survive and keep in the fight. Uh, Tiger just chilling. Opening fire. Yeah, kind of. We have uh, somewhat of an airstrike coming in. Yep, Stormvik Strike coming in. Katusha opening fire, trying to make sure those Volk Squads can't leave. And unfortunately for him, the Volk, squad, uh, Volk Squads leave just fine. 
Frag Bomb coming in doing a little bit of damage, but the 17 pounder remains. This is his second 17 pounder. Uh, if he gets up to, uh, yeah, if he gets up to 90 munitions, he can fire straight through that building as well. So it's a pretty damn good defensive point. Yag Tiger though on standby with a clean shot straight through. So most likely he'll be able to use it to snipe allied armor and possibly even fortifications if used correctly. We'll see if that happens. That ET gun line is probably the biggest issue. Connelly is at least doing a decent job at holding this sector and providing support for Apprentice's uh, fortifications. Now, down south, we have a decent British fighting force. Again, this guy's kind of been sitting around. The tiger is busy fighting in the north. Instead, I feel like it should be in the south. You've had multiple opportunities to knock out this British player, and unfortunately, I think we're about to see uh, a good counterattack. Now, he did play some mines, so that might delay them. I do think more mines over here would have been a little better. They at least stop them from crossing the water, you know, hold them back, and at least notify you that they're approaching the island. We have a, bu we have a bunker here, but nothing with it, so I, I don't know if he forgot about it or what uh, they do have a lot of fuel caches i i don't recommend that per se just because of the fact that we're it could be a situation like this where now the allies have so much more munitions than you it's always good to have a little bit more munitions on standby anyway uh with no major anti-infantry good teller mine though uh the british infantry are kind of rolling on up uh grenadier squad trying to hold them back pack gun will get the kill though on that thing nice job with that thing down yes only has to worry about the double pack and the firefly that's still a lot. That's still a heck of a lot. Uh, AT gun could circle around and flank this position. Uh, or not. That, that, that's fine. Anyway, we have an armored push up north. They're trying to clear a lot of these MGs. AT guns are somewhere, I assume? Oh, they're back in face. Well, he's not healing him right now, so he really needs to do that. <coughs> Meanwhile, the big armor push that was going on mid, uh, trying to kill that 17 pounder. So far, going decently well. 17 pounder definitely on its last leg. It's being hit by the Yag Tiger and also Volk Squad. This thing is firing though at the Yag, having a bit of a rough time. Now we have pretty decent forces coming on in. We do have a mix of British and American forces should push back the Volk, but they're not going to push back the armor. Meanwhile, up north, without those AT guns, we have an IS-2 here, but it's not really going to hold back three armored units. Um, maybe tain them with the 17 pounder, but if he comes up for three different angles and it try to all hit those things, it could be a bad story. The site for the fortifications, or it could be the last legs for the Germans if they, you know, mismanage it. Uh, we have a frag bomb coming in. Don't wait. Damn. Well, you guys were fine. This guy, not so much. I'll give him it. Those, there, there have been some real decent frag bombs. They're, they're at least killing things with the frag bombs this game. Meanwhile, British infantry still holding the north mid. I feel like this guy's like, don't worry, guys. I'll hold the south. And everyone's like, uh, that's great. But, you know, we're, we still need help elsewhere. Can you provide that? Or can you help? And it's like, don't worry, guys. I'll take the south. And he just keeps repeating that over and over and over again. Jackson trying to go in for a flank maneuver on the Yag with the British artillery support. Panther Force comes in, unfortunately being hit by the Bazooka team. They're going to lose a Panther, but they're going to lose double Jacksons in the process. So I feel like it's a bigger loss for the Americans eh, right now, especially because of the amount of, well, look at the fuel manpower that some of the Germans have. I think they're doing okay. Uh, we have Panzer for opening fire, uh, hanging a T-gun, trying to push that back up with Sedan, also taking mid. 17 pounder is now removed, so middle is pretty much secure. We do have a couple AT guns coming out of nowhere up north, which is weird. He's also keeping his Tiger there and facing the, like, all sideways, so he, yeah, yeah, they're getting rear armor hits against the thing. If we lost that Tiger, that would have been the dumbest way to lose the Tiger, just by just not moving it. We have another Tiger on the field. So it looks like every single German unit has decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to get a heavy tank, and I'm going to use that to its, you know, the full might. We have a, a Firefly up north, uh, I guess trying to provide support. Again, this guy's not moving up his infantry. He, and before you say, great shot, he doesn't want to get ambushed. It's like, recon. He has recon. For that reason, and that reason alone would be, in a practical sense, enough to justify doing an assault this way to capture two points and possibly flank the caches up here. Because right now we're looking at the bridge player. He's focusing entirely in the north. This 
idiot is keeping himself down in the south. Move! Oh my god. Anyway, let's let's look at. Well, I, I can't necessarily say you know the allies aren't doing that because, well, we have a few fortifications up here. So, and he's losing more and more of his infantry. So he's not, becoming less and less mobile as time comes on. Great. Anyway, uh, Panther coming in. Although I think a Panzerwerfer would probably be way better. It is firing. We'll see if it actually gets a hit. He retreats into it a little bit. This other one target also get, hits him. Very nice. And that pushes back the American player. Looks like we have a Soviet assault down south. But he has only two eight guns backing him up. If this guy has infantry support, which he does to an extent, I think he'll be fine at counteracting that stuff. But again, that's if he, you know, goes all at once. It looks like he might be going in uh, piecemeal, which could be an issue. I bet the German, not the Soviet. Ger Soviet seems to be NG support with AT guns backing him up. Anyway, Tiger Tank finally hitting mid. So that's good. Uh, just don't expect him to push, well, here. I guess anytime soon, even though he really should. IS-2 going head on. Panther and Panzergrideers opening fire. Doing a ton of damage to the IS-2. Forcing it back. Might be able to get one last shot to kill it. Very close. Needs to throw a uh, bundle grenade on that. Again, Panzer Strikes won't do anything to it. That's for sure. Alright, so what what do we got here? Uh, resource, look, resource-wise and point-wise, it's still pretty damn close. Fuel-wise, the allies are down, but... They're still doing okay for this game. Population-wise, the Germans are... Wow, they're almost near PopCap when the Allies are down. Damn. This... The Allies uh, might have might lose this game, honestly. Unless they start doing some really stupid things. Or continue to do really stupid things like in the South. I feel like they might have this. We do have the, we do have the British player focusing more North. So I'm very curious to see if this German player is going to take advantage of that. But Sabat has enough resources where I can keep pumping out units for a time. So I'm not too worried if he loses a couple units by a flank or such. He has more than enough. King Tiger opening fire. Now Vec 2 with 37 kills opening fire to push back a lot of the American infantry. We have a Panzerwerfer shot coming on down. Very lucky he didn't kill anything. Again, the be the closer you are at the Panzerwerfer, the better you are because it lowers that arc. So you can a better chance of killing blobs. We still got the double MG front over here, though most likely the armor is going to be able to easily move up. We have a bunker right here providing, you know, suppressive fire against anything that comes into its sight, which should help it survive. I'm assuming that's a firefly coming in. It is, which make two fireflies. Uh, that, that could do a decent amount. We have a nice flanking maneuver by the, both for Cadmorphers that try to, you know, push in. We have artillery coming in from the Sexton. We have a good fighting force moving in to kill the cache. Finally! I, they... Fuck it. They can't grab this point, so they're going for the middle point. I don't care. They're at least doing something. Meanwhile, Tiger Tank should be more preoccupied with the rear echelon shooting bazooka shuttles at it. But, you know, that's just me. I, I, I don't know. I feel I feel like that would probably be a, its best idea. Well, luckily, it missed the rocket shots. Now all their armor and everything is coming in mid. Which is fine if you would Panzerfaust the freaking things. I, it was the Jackson not good enough for you? Uh, okay. Jackson just kind of leaving. Grandier's just moving back because there's no anti-infantry in this area. Uh, again, if you would have brought a pack gun with you to kind of guard that, you probably would have been better off. The good news is that drew off so many allied players that maybe the Axis can do it lodged assault north while they're all decommissioned, dead, or just having issues in general. We have what? Is that... Oh. What? What? What was that? Perimeter... Oh, was that perimeter overwatch? Damn! That was a good perimeter overwatch. This poor Grand Ears. Although he's getting new ones. He has more than enough manpower, guys. So let's not feel too badly about them. Panther moving on back. We have a new 70 pounder. No, no, that's been there. Sorry. 70 pounder. That's been there. Opening fire. Now bet two. And with the S-285 and everything else. They killed the uh, Bofer, but Tiger might die. Which would suck. Not for me, of course. Just for the Tiger tank. Tiger tank's trying to slowly fall back, although a blitz might be more effective. Nice bounce with that Tiger's front armor. Might be able to... Oh, that Panther. No, not the Panther! 
Wow, I was going to say, it actually survived with that rear armor hit. And then the S-85, you know, killed it. Hedgeworth is also dead, so North has pretty much been lost. And that quickly, Hunter just lost a good chunk of his forces, though he has enough manpower to get both armored units he lost. So, don't feel too bad for him. Anyway, Allied forces trying to push in mid. Some Stuka fire slowly pushing it back. A lot of tank destroyers right now. Double for Kenworth might be able to slow them down and or kill them. We shall see. Panther slowly falling back. King Tiger probably open fire, knock him out. We have infantry focusing on the stuff that's, you know, really gotten and trying to go in there and kill the armor. Fireflies coming on in. We have a King Tiger opening fire. Fireflies opening fire. Gets the kill on the Panther. King Tiger, totally fine. I mean, yeah. It, yeah, Stern Pioneer's coming in. Maybe he's trying to lure him in, but he's bounced so many shots, and they still kill the Fireflies, so... Overall, not too shabby, I guess. Forces retreating. Artillery coming down. That's most likely a time on target. Which I'm right. Again, continued certain big strikes trying to hold back the enemy. And uh, we have a Tiger in mid. Most likely, he's going to send infantry to go grab it. And like I said, I'd send infantry to grab this as well. As that would probably be best. I'm assuming he's sending this down here to get him killed. But I don't know why he would just try to go kill his engineer squad. Oh, he's trying to kill them because he can't heal anything else with the population, maybe? Panther moving in. Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, remember, remember how the enemy had an IS-2 right there? Yeah. Well, okay, never mind. He has a Yag Tiger backing him up. Fire, man. Oh, missed it by that much. So very close. I, I, uh, sorry, SU-85 pulling back. IS-2 as well pulling back. I would not try to, I would try not to get in a duel with the Yag Tiger because that's a, probably a bad idea. We have a lot of tank destroyers here, but remember, I don't think they can really push up as much because of the Vercanworfers hiding. Those Vercanworfers will do a lot of damage. And while the Fireflies are great, and same thing with the Jacksons at long range fire, I don't think they need something to make sure to cover it, which is why it's always good at infantry support. Now they have infantry support, and now they're advancing. So uh, Dappler is pushing in with his infantry, clearing the Vercanworfers out of the way so the tank destroyers can follow suit. And counteracting the armor that maybe tries to counter them. So we got all the tank destroyers opening fire on the armor pushing in. Infantry coming in. And trying to AT grenade that as well. Probably should have snared the tiger rather than this as it is actually damaged. So it actually would snare. Rather than going for a, a, a target that has full health. Tiger barely managing to keep itself alive. Needs to blitz out of there honestly. King Tiger coming in with a flank along with a large almost of dot and blob. Jesus Christ that's terrifying. For any infantry that's to fight that. Take the shards like, we got it. Oh, wait, our guns have no effect on it. Oh, shoot. Uh, meanwhile, up north, we have another push coming in by this uh, PGI coming in. Unfortunately, he's just being slowly pushed back. I like this. I get Connelly's slow advance is great. He's really just putting a lot of pressure on him. Although, I'm actually also surprised we're not seeing a Panzerwerfer. Because a Panzerwerfer would deal with those AT guns because they're all in a group. They are all in a group. So, I don't know. Or, you know, Gag Tiger with explosive rounds. That would also work. Something just blew up. Oh, half track blew up. Firefly got it. Nice. Anyway, armored units have a rough time. There's the MG stuff like there, but again, most of these are the these Panthers aren't gonna do much to the MGs long range and Tiger's not firing for whatever reason. Oh, good bundle grenade could do a lot. Come on, throw the bundle. Throw the bundle. They get the they got the kill, but you need to throw the bundle. There these this unit's no longer suppressed, so. 180 guns down. This guy is still suppressed. This guy could have threw a bundle that entire time, but it's okay. Anyway, armored units coming on in. Uh, the Yag Tiger also providing support. Great shot on that tank destroyer. Armor going in. They're trying to kill it. Uh, another T-3045 coming in to help out the Soviet armor. T-3045 gone. Churchill not coming on up. A T gun facing the wrong direction. Oh no, never mind. They repositioned it. Panther needs to get the hell out of there. With that T3045, there's too much there. Yag Tiger taking sweet time, but still firing, getting some nice shots. IS2 needs to get the heck out of there. Uh, Yag Tiger could fire again, but unfortunately not enough. Oh my God, Pan <laughs> Panzer for coming in, save the day. <laughs> then they're like, fuck that. Yag Tiger could probably open fire again with the other Panther moving on in, but too late. Too late. Up. Uh, very close to 
Oh, wow. It's actually, probably one more hit from the Yag, and it's dead, I would assume, if they can get a hit. Uh, no, he's not going to be able to. He doesn't have uh, sight lines on it. Wow. That was a poor charge by the allies. They needed additional infantry. I don't know. Maybe you have, like, a second wave of infantry to support them or something, but that was not a good engagement. It really wasn't. Because when he just lost another... Pan oh, sorry, he lost his panther, and he really can't afford that right now. He's getting a lot of resources, so he can get, they get another one in like three minutes, but not right now. We have a random unit coming in from behind. I again, I'm not entirely sure why, but again, this guy needs to just push in. Like, seriously. Does this guy have minesweepers? Like, is there British mines over here? I don't see any British mines anywhere. Yeah, so we have artillery coming in. I'm just, maybe that was his thing for a concentration barrage, but that's 100 manpower. That's our munitions taking out 150 manpower. That's nothing. Like, uh, yeah, okay, maybe it's something, but it's... I don't know. Uh, it's it's really weak, and this the fact that this guy's not helping is it, just very annoying. It, it is very, very annoying. But anyway, this allied force is closing in, and it's uh, all the allies. All the allies are in the north, and right now the, these Axis forces are being boxed in. This guy is no health and some for some reason engaging. I, I don't understand. I don't know why. Okay, finally this guy is pushing up. We have a large amount of infantry, though, pushing back the German infantry. King Tiger trying to hold line. 44 kills, vet 3. If he goes spearhead, oh boy, that could be a good fight. But King trying to fight and push through the Allied forces. Back by Panzer Shrex. Infantry uh, being suppressed slowly. Uh, although the MG itself is barely alive. Firefly and uh, Churchill coming in on the flank. Could do a lot of damage right now. Close range Panzer for doing a ton to the Rifleman killing one squad. Churchill though coming on the flank. Panther though trying to stop that from happening. Though Firefly making a difference. We have a uh, Stern Pioneers coming in. Open fire. It's artillery just raining down this position. We uh, It's... Time on target? Maybe? That yeah, SAR artillery is coming down that position. Very weird that you called in. Um, meanwhile, again, big, big, big push in the south. Uh, finally, this guy sees the opportunity for a flank. Frag bomb right here would be perfect. Or just kill it. That's fine. Just get revenge. Uh, ambulance is dead. So, already another one bites the dust. Now their forces are pinned. This is good. Now they're tr facing two different directions. This is where the Axis need to enclose and encircle the allies. Um, Tiger, again, doing a lot of damage. Needs some blitz out of there. Again, blitz or smoke. That works too. Pa another Panther coming in. Jackson goes in. He's probably going to die from a double shot. Wow. Fire straight through, but bounces. Okay. Maybe on their way out, they can kill this cache. That'll be, that'll be wonderful. They're both focusing on uh, vehicles. So that's highly unlikely. But with that, the, the yeah, I love this. The the priest ran forward, be like, oh, I'm not gonna die to a tiger. No, you're gonna die from a Panzer house from a Volk squad because you literally ran in enemy fire. So that was a good. Okay, that was a good hit because it forced the allies to look two separate ways. That's cutting their attack power, which makes the al the Axis force greater, and they can push on in. Like. The uh, Tiger did die because it decided to retreat this way in AT gun fire instead of go down this path with no mines, but I, 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 I don't know. Panther also being decrewed, but they're killing it? Why? Why are you trying to kill the free Panther allied player? Why? Anyway, cervix right coming in, stopping the allied infantry. Uh, this, oh, shoot, he lost his Vet 3 Tiger? Damn. Well, that sucks. Uh, this other Tiger is still in the fight. Although the allied players still have a decent amount of armor right now. Overall totals of population? Jesus Christ, that plane. Uh, yeah, I would say upper 70s, maybe low 80s, but probably upper 70s. Well, the allies are easily in, like, the upper 80s. So right now, the Allies have slowly crawled their way up and beaten back the Axis a bit. Um, Resource-wise, though, again, the Allies are also in a really com comfortable position. They have a lot of extra resources. Ally Axis do not. See, this is what I mean by, like, the Allies 
like the Axis needing to take advantage of their situation when the, the British were on the back foot. Now the British guy is going to focus all of his effort down south, and I don't think this uh, German player can really can do that. It was a good flank if done properly, but, and while he did kill quite a bit of units, and nice to kill the T-3045, the Panthers still cost more. PSR, wait, what? Why did you do that, PSR? Oh, damn mine. Oh! Wait, oh, the mine that was there! Oh my god, he got it on the mine. Okay, fair play. Fair play, PSR. Fair play. Fair play. I love this infantry squad literally just walking through your lines. That's not horrifying at all. And your great ears just walking away. That's great. Um, also, you're building double panther, but you literally do not have the population to build anymore. So I have no idea what your goal is there. Meanwhile, at least the uh, British player is focusing down south. That's cutting the amount over here. Uh, ally. Oh, finally. Vet 3 Yag Tiger opening fire. Trying to push back allied forces. Great shot straight down the tube. And the Axis are bottlenecking the allies, and the, the allies just don't have the. They just don't have the firepower for that much armor and that in this just small cone. They, they just can't do enough damage where the axes are just OPing in this vicinity, so they are easily pulling back. Though, artillery is providing some difference. They're already in this sector, stopping the axes in their tracks and only providing a small amount of infantry to push forward. Otherwise, they risk a lot more death. Uh, Pensworth are coming in. I'm surprised today. Oh, there we go. Suppress the British infantry squads, but it did suppress and cause suppression on that MG that might just allow enough time for them to move up infantry to kill it. Also, Vet 3, so they, they sh there should be enough there. There we go, they took it. Any case, we have uh, smoke coming down. Maybe, oh, okay, Storming Strike again, hitting this again. Which is weird, because I'm surprised that the Germans aren't getting more AA or something, like an Oswind, just to shoot down that plane, or maybe, are they activating their AA abilities? I, I can't tell. They are not. They are not activating their AA abilities. They really should. Meanwhile, this this guy is his armored group down south, ready to push. But the biggest threat is here. Maybe you should ask his teammate to call an ar assault artillery over here. Oh, he doesn't have enough. There's... They need more munitions, honestly. That's where they're lacking. Unfortunately, this one guy has just been a damn brat at just holding this point so they cannot push up yeah Connelly's just held that north with a sheer iron will good frag bomb knocked out the AT gun at least they could probably reman it quickly but at least they got a I swear to Christ this guy charges while the British player is pushing south and I guarantee there's nothing stopping him from doing a... There's a Tiger, but he has a double Firefly and then double AT. There's no way that Tiger's holding. Meanwhile, double Panther flank, forcing all them to look the other direction. This would be the time for the armor to advance while the AT guns are, instead of facing that way toward the armor, are facing that way. But no. We're not getting that. In actuality, what we're getting is a British assault down south. That's... Weirdly not as supportive as I might would have thought. Because the Tiger Mage pushed back the Royal Engineers. That stops them from being AT grenaded. All these guys are over here. And now we have a ton of AT hitting the Tiger. Maybe the artillery is meant to force it up. Okay. Uh, good rifle grenade hurts the AT guns. Doesn't kill it though. And most likely... Okay, good idea. You smoke with the last second so we can get out. Um, Panther is coming on the flank. Other Panther needs to come in. Uh... We also have Piat, so let's not forget about that. AT guns quickly redeploy, dropping smoke to get out of there. Again, he need, needs more damage over here to really counteract, or a frag bomb or something. Just does have the munitions for it. Axis forces are now at the lower end of the resource scale, while the allies are on the upper scale. We have an AT gun that's... Okay. Come on, kill it. Good shot. Pack gun died though, but at least he killed the Firefly, and so far he kept the units alive. PSR, so that's good. Meanwhile, more death and carnage in mid. Again, both sides are desperately trying to fight each other to take that point. I don't blame the, the this guy for not moving up infantry, as this is a light defense force, if anything. So I get why he doesn't want to push up with that. 
A decent frag bomb, but doesn't really hurt a lot of the infantry that's there. British forces, again, still trying to overwhelm. The, the very risky maneuver right now, because uh, the AT guns are still there. Looks like it's going to be able to out... Yep, out shoot it. This AT gun's still here, though. He needs to switch off. Actually, I'm, I'm, you know what's it's surprising? None of them have 50 cal machine guns. Piot's opening fire. Tiger might be get a lucky shot to help kill AT gun. If he does, he can pretty much take this area. Oh, so very close. So very, very close to dying. Panther presenting itself. Although, managed to kill the AT gun. Pretty sure Infantry have to, has to fall back. And Sabat is now pretty much down to a bare assortment. PSR was ma did manage to hold off the attack. Took some losses. But he has more than enough resources to make that back. And hell, even though it's pretty much a recruit army, he should be easily able to retake this point and do more damage. Hopefully, this means he can actually take mid. Which, by the way, this British player still has forces here. So, I still consider this area PSR's do domain. Even though it's just stupid because, again... This guy is literally right here. So we can literally move our forces clear mid and flank. Uh, maybe this way. I That's my recommendation to hit all this. Like, you know where the artillery is. It's literally bombing you. So you figure you would call something in to kill that. Like, even a saw artillery right here, I think, would be effective. Meanwhile, slowly but surely he's pushing on in. Left his troops there and got arti artillery to death. So not a great position. Nice job with the Tiger. At least kill those AT guns and the... British can't reman them. Uh, nice shot with the Panthers, but this one unfortunately did fight the dust through direct fire. Uh, maybe this Panther can kill that one. Nope, they're they're pushing it through the south, which is smart. Though, uh, they, can they get a kill? They kill a tank destroyer. Good. Unfortunately for him, I think he has more than enough resources. Yeah, he has enough resources to get another one. He did lose his eyes too, so we, I can't say they have been doing damage to the, the allies. Both sides in the north have been like having a massive slug. Best. The problem is the allies have doing a better job of holding this point, which allows them to slowly put down the final clock against the Axis. Meanwhile, once again, we don't, I'm surprised that this guy doesn't get more infantry. Like, if he got more infantry, he could probably take the south and push forward and kind of just advance once again on this guy's base. Like, just imagine him doing a frag bomb against all these guys. They would be dead because they're so close to the edge of the map. He can call it in really quickly and probably get a target. So, Panzergrenadier is moving on in. Again, smart plan. Move in to knock out a Sexton, which he has enough in terms of, uh, good kill. He has enough in terms of overall, like, manpower and fuel to get another one. But he, that would run the risk of him pretty much being depleted. Uh, this unit might die. Oh, it's going to be close. Damn, it's going to be close. But looks, unless these guys focus fire, which they're fighting the Stern Pioneer squads, he might live. Oh, no. Direct strike. Run. Four-star Yag. Damn. All right. Opening fire against the armor. Pushing back to Churchill. Zeroing artillery is coming down. Once again, you have zeroing artillery. The most effective counter emplacement ability in the game. And you decide to use it to kill a couple units instead of killing this. It, it's shocking. It, it, it's It's really shocking also a decent armor force could clear this up even a, a decent infantry force could clear all that up uh, it, it's frustrating meanwhile once he, i like how now this guy does it but i feel like every time he moves out the british guy then moves in like you need to do this before the british guy had an army to counteract this side you need to do it then not now but oh hell ne never ending arty is bs then flank it you dumbass there's literally a perfect sight. Well, I don't have recon. You have recon. Anyway, enough panther charging. And actually, it seems to be breaking the allied lines. Again, go in for the fucking kill. With both the... I, I don't... I don't understand. Like, why are you sitting there? Why are you sitting there? Move up. Do something. Anyway, a Yag Tiger on standby. This guy's slowly pushing up against the infantry, which is reorganizing. This giant push is now happening. Thank you. Against all the weakened armor. Thank you. This American player, um, he's going to lose a lot. He probably won't be able to remit, get all the new Jacksons. But that's all of his Jacksons dead. And now it's a clear... It's a clear line to kill everything. Everything could have died. But no, we're going to charge the SU-85 and all the AT and all this shit. We're going to completely ignore all this artillery. 
Hey, no. Let's charge into the 17-pounder. Sexton lures the Panthers into the 17-pounder. For fuck's sake. Hey, hey, Bob. Yes, Frank. Aren't you glad that all the tigers and panthers literally killed themselves chasing the sexton into literally the biggest gun the allies have? Yes. <laughs> yes, Bob. No, it, it was very good. I'm, I'm so happy about that. Ugh. So fucking stupid. And now he gets another tiger. Great. But did they manage to kill any artillery? Did, like, they killed the one up there, but this guy still has double sexton. I'm sorry, double priest. This guy still has double sextons. And they didn't kill the artillery. They did take the point. I'll give them credit where credit's due. They took the point. And the allies did lose quite a bit. But they would have lost so much more if they would have called it in here. So much more. Meanwhile, the British did retake the south, but they, they won't hold it for very long. And I don't give this guy, British guy, much credit. Uh, he keeps losing a lot, man. Nice kill with the... At least making sure. I love this. Oh, my God. All this armor needs healed. This guy needs pioneers more than anything else. Oh, my God. Go get that stuff healed, man. Oh, it's so close. Okay, at least this thing's alive. So, head back to base. Don't go after the kill. Don't go after the kill. Just heal. Tiger once again going to the flank. Bad time now because they reorganized. <laughs> I'll go in for the flank. They'll never see it coming. Sir, we just did a flank through that way. They'll never see it coming. So yeah, now there's... Uh, okay, this guy still has his stuff wide open to a flank. Literally. And the allies and the Axis have recon. And it, it, like these artillery pieces are doing well. They're already in the sector. The Sexons are doing way better in terms of damage. Like, again, just overall damage-wise. And, like, as long as you're keeping pressure along here... I know this is starting to look like a crater of a freaking moon. But, or an asteroid. But, and what they're doing right now is making sure the Axis can't push. Or having a hard time pushing without losing a lot of manpower. The Panzerwerfer is also doing the same thing. So, it's not like the Axis aren't doing that. It's just not as consistent. Meanwhile, we have a double push uh, over here. I, I'm ready. I'm ready to throw this. I really am. This firefly is gonna snipe this tiger because of range difference. Oh my god! You are so lucky, that quick draw, McGraw. You are so freaking lucky. Ah, uh, but guess what's enough to get another firefly? Guess who doesn't have enough to get? Wait, hold on. Oh no, never mind. He has enough to get more panthers. He's fine. He has barely lost anything this entire game. Ugh. Panzer Great Deer is coming in, knocking out the S-85 from another flank to the south. Again, be it's because no one's here to guard this point. The allies are just focusing up north. Uh, nice bundle grenade. Uh, they'll at least break through this stuff. Although, nice artillery shell pushed back the Panzer Grand Ears. I don't know what that Panzer Grand Deer guy was expecting. He knows the artillery is coming in this sector. So, it is annoying that, you know, he lost it. But it's also part of the game. Also, once again, there's all this AT stuff over here, uh, so MGs, and so he should probably just focus on killing that and then advance on this side. There we go. He's at least taking that stuff off. Oh, these MGs will die very quickly. We have more infantry coming on in, but they're slowly be pushed back. Tiger as well coming in. Now we have the. Here's the problem. We have the concentration. Oh, sorry. The uh, Overwatch thing in now effect. So essentially, what this is going to do is tell the uh, British artillery to open fire. So they're going to open fire against any target that's in their lines. So, as you can see. And it's not 100% accurate, but it's close. Off-map borders and artillery shells as well. So yeah, it just covers the entire area. That's why it's so expensive. So it makes it very difficult for them to push up and attack during this. So it's why it's very good to defend during the, those key moments. Ugh. This already is such BS. Then kill it. It, it, like, guys. 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 
your tanks are BS. I mean, he does still have the... He has a Vet 5 Yag right now. So, I can't say it. No, LOL, balanced. Sabat was replaced? Uh... Okay, so the worst br the worst player, in my opinion, probably on their team just left. Okay, not worse, but it definitely like the one that broke apart. Good frag bomb knocks out a lot of the ET and infantry. Yag Tiger just doing work up here. Very nice. We have a Valentine tank possibly coming in for a flank maneuver. We'll see. Yag Tiger pulling back. Maybe he anticipates this and knows it's coming. I have no idea what this Valentine Diggs doing. Is he really trying to... It didn't even bounce. Oh, I'm sorry, it didn't even pen. This guy's probably going to have a Panzer Tractor soon, I'm assuming. Nope, he's not. He's trying to use the Valentine to kill a Yag Tiger. If this works. Re oh, wow, rear armor's damage did so much. That Panzer IV force coming in saying like, No, nah, you're, not, you're not killing my baby. You're not killing that thing. I'm assuming time on target's coming down at this position. Let's see if it actually moves. Our King Tiger backing up. Uh, Yag Tiger moving at a pretty good clip. Probably be able to get out of there before time on target comes down. Wow. Wait, was that even time on target? What is that? I... Okay. Nothing happened. Meanwhile, this guy is once again killing more fireflies. Uh, uh, the AI now deployed an armored car because that's the smart thing to do. Wow, I, lo I love the light show. It's so pretty. Healing up the tiger real quick. Ugh. All right, so all the allies need to do is hold the majority of the points for so long and they'll win. It, most likely, South PSR has versus an AI. I'm just going to be general. Especially with this kind of fight, the fireflies probably going to lose. Wow. Nope, it's one final shot. Panzerfaust, maybe? Can we get a Panzerfaust? Or just let the tiger kill it. I was afraid the AI would run, but apparently not. So with that out of the way, AI is pretty much nothing to defend the south, so he has it. Now it's just a northern battle. And again, it's... Stern Victory coming in to stop the German infantry from running through. And I feel, again, if you have such a big issue... They, by the way, for those who don't know why I keep saying they know where the artillery is, in Company Bureaus 2, when the artillery units fire in this game, you can identify the placement of the artillery. That's when I, when I fire B4, Chan, you can see the artillery piece when the shot connects. So, you can see it on the map. You can literally see it in Fog of War, uh, the, the, that artillery stuff firing. So, the, the reason I bring that up is you can do recon in mid, identify there's nothing there, and go in for a southern, like, push, and literally kill everything. You could literally rush by and kill everything. So, once again, surprising he's not doing that, but you could do that. Uh, middle is now being recaptured by the allies, trying to seek Verkenwerfer through, but it works best if they can't see the Verkenwerfer. Allied forces with tank destroyers moving on in. This would be a great time for zeroing, so you can push on in and counteract this location. Panzer for coming down, killing the MG, stopping the, you know, cap rate. Tiger tried to move in with a large Panzer Shrek force. Yag Tiger getting a beautiful shot on that unit. Artillery, though, coming down on the Yag Tiger. For, uh, Panzer Shrek forces coming on in, trying to push them back. And again, there's really not much anti infantry in this sector. Panther slowly pushing through. Allies on their last leg need to take this point. Good AT forces, although, uh, wow, did they actually, no, it's still alive, holy crap. Tiger, mentioned trying to kill those Jacksons, but Jacksons, good on the person, slowly push, pulling it back, and I think activating extra penetration? No, they're not. I thought they were. Tiger, they're trying to get out, AT gun can so fire a shot, allowing it sight, so that way Jacksons get killed, but it looks like he's not going to do that, he's going to pull back. Smart, you want to get him out. Grandier's holding onto this point, so the Germans won't lose this, at least for right now. We have a random unit running. We literally have a random unit running by the Sexton. So now they absolutely know where it is. They have enough for a frag bomb as well. Artillery is coming down. Hurting a lot of the infantry. Again, now we have the Overwatch. So they can't capture stuff in this me in the meantime. Whatever. That's fine. In the meantime, if I was this guy, I would also stop trying to push. 
up north. Yeah, okay. Take this. That's smart. And move up your forces. Take everything else you can and just push all the way into the AI's base start killing it. Like, the AI is not that big of a threat. It literally has one AT gun, most infantry, which your infantry, infantry could probably counter. Um, also, maybe you get a Brumbar instead of mass-producing Panthers? I don't know. Uh, yeah, armored forces pushing on in. Maybe he's trying to do this so that way when the next one comes out, it just instantly pops out so that way he doesn't have to wait very long for a new Panther. Maybe that's why he's doing that, I, I guess. Good job with the Yag, I'm assuming explosive rounds. Uh, yep, to kill the AT gun. Fans trying to go in for the kill. Once again, there's probably a lot of tank destroyers in the sector. Something, uh, look, man, frag bomb looks like killed this. Artillery still coming in from something. I'm not entirely sure what. Oh, p pretty. Never mind. I thought it was, oh no, Panther coming in, okay. Again, finally just moves in with a Panther to kill the stuff. I mean, look. I'm going to be honest, he has more than enough resources to get more. And again, artillery was able to knock that sucker out. With the enemies falling back, like, when the, okay, it's best to hit the prize apple when the enemy's in the way. Not backing up, right, like, guarding it. Panther, once again, moving in. I don't know why they're sacrificing all their armor. They really hate that artillery. But one recon strike followed by a frag bomb, if done correctly, could probably knock out a decent amount. Pretty has no manpower. And right now what I'm seeing is the Axe is losing a ton of manpower and a lot of their armor units. Just a careless BS. Even though, if they played it smart, it would be close, but they could probably beat the allies. Again, firing, fighting this close with the Yag Tiger, probably a very bad idea. King Tiger trying to provide supportive fire 70 pounders still there though so if he has to watch out and not get too close otherwise he gets rear shotted by a 17 pounder which is not good uh yag tiger needs to maybe open fire on these jacksons that would probably be helpful get a kill on one of them maybe fire fire okay the other panther's back in again i'm seeing a lot of armor not a lot of infantry except for pgi but well you know The allies are pushing in. This guy's trying to heal his panther. We have a direct strike coming in. And I'm just going to watch this as this guy's not paying attention and loses all of his men. Please let that be time on target. Damn it. He's, well, he lost his engineers. We've lost the tank. AT, wow, the, the AI's like, you know, I'm just going to spam AT guns. What's he going to do about it? And, yeah, I mean, it's not the best thing, but, I mean, it is holding. Meanwhile, this guy finally sends something to go clear these random MGs and such in over at this point. Oh, my God. And, uh, yeah, there's now nothing guarding this point. There's absolutely nothing. You could easily send a Panzergrandier uh, force. This is what's going on. I feel like the Germans are literally throwing, like, they're hitting the object with a hammer. When, ob when obviously a sickle, or not sickle, a, like a... A more fine pick would would do. You don't need to bash something over and over again. If they would honestly find more direct routes, better avenues, they'd be doing so much better. But yeah, I just I don't understand what the the axis are doing. I really don't. Like again, pushing with infantry right now would clear the north. Like they have very little in terms of anti infantry. Maybe the Churchill, but you could get some armor longer firing. Just a wee bit further, that 17 pounder, and still kind of clear it. Or drop smoke on it if you really need to. Like, qu quickly go up this way, drop smoke, and run. Like, he can't see you, you'll be fine. Um, you could retake all the north. You could. The AI is even pushing back here for freaking Pete's sakes. Like, you've lost all that manpower. You lost it all that manpower that you've saved up over this time because you keep losing it recklessly. Uh, armored force coming in, but they don't have enough to keep holding. Panzerwerfer doing a decent job getting a few kills on the infantry. Yag Tiger back up on the front, or like, sorry, going back to the front. It's like highly vetted. And again, they are putting a lot of pressure on the allies. The problem is they're not taking advantage of the allies. And right now the, yeah, they, they're gonna probably, oh my God, this Churchill's just slowly making the way. King Tiger trying to stop it. Smoke being deployed though. Rear armor hit, okay, fires through the King Tiger. Other forces coming in. We have a large Panzer IV force, which I 
you're forcing a lot of tank destroyers. Those things won't exactly last long against them, but okay, maybe you're trying to kill the infantry. Cool. Meanwhile, the AI, which, by the way, you've still yet to capture this. You've yet to capture this point. Like, what, dude? What are you doing? This guy's like, I'll go help the north. No, what you can do is t capture your side and start putting pressure behind allied lines. Like, once again, nothing here. Nothing back here. There's absolutely nothing back here. You do a recon and identify that, you could rush up, kill all of their sextants and be over with this game. But no, we're not doing that. Like, in most games and steps, there isn't that path. The allies are whatever side, they're both head to head. They both have no points, and literally it's a drag out fist fight. This is a drunken bar fight with the, a clear way to defeat the other. Like there like there's two guys fighting, and the one guy the one guy doesn't realize uh, example, there's a taser next to him and the other guy's still fighting. The other guy that knows about the taser could grab the taser and end the fight, but he's not doing it. Anyway, our allies seem to be holding on to this point. I'm assuming they're going to hold on to this to the end. I can't imagine the allies. And yeah, they're calling in the perimeter overwatch. So more British artillery will come in against any German force in the sector. AI still pushing in the south. He's still pushing in the south. We have a flank coming in from Panther. Not going to do much versus all those tank destroyers. And yeah, that's it's GG. Yeah, there's a lot of artillery coming down. It's GG. <sighs> All right, good. I'm done with that game. Holy crap. Um, Allies won that by German idiocracy. That's that's what they want. Look, look, uh, 150,000 damage. Your Dappler, a uh, Dapple. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, let, let's go over everyone, shall we? Because I, I, I have a lot to unload here. Okay, first off, like, th it's not like the Allies were completely idiotic. I, I, well, I, should ver I should very much clarify that. They weren't. His, the, 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 I'm assuming the Jacksons were the things, yeah, 100,000 damage. They were doing great, and honestly, I believe he didn't lose, oh, never mind, he, he lost nine of them. But, he might have lost line, but he always able to get more. So, he, he lost them, but he lost them in a way that he could keep deploying them. So, honestly, he still was rather good, yeah, with his efficiency and whatnot. So, I can't say he was, like, wait, sacrificing them for no reason, kind of like what PSR was doing. Um... So, yeah, definitely, easily, uh, awesome. And, again, a lot of kills. Again, have to probably say the uh, the priests. Yeah, 22, 25, 47 total. So, pretty damn good uh, kill rate on that. And, again, his uh, Rashawn troops with Bazooka teams also doing a lot of damage. So, I'll give him credit there as well. Um, Connelly was doing really well up north. He might have had a small force of really support spamming a little bit, but here's the thing. He still pushed back the German player, and the German player never made a truly like major effort to retake that territory. So I can't say that he was either – he was playing badly. Um, the person that was playing badly, in my opinion, was Sabat. Sabat was the weakest player on the Allied side. Connelly might have had less kills and took a lot of losses. I understand that. But damage-wise, with the S285s and IS-2s, he was still holding the line in T-3045. He was still pushing and managed to push – PGI out of the north. The big issue in this game was the fact that Sabat was literally left to guard like half the map by himself and he didn't have the capacity to. He barely could hold his own small corridor. He couldn't hold half the map. But the problem was was the complete opposite for the Germans which was PSR which I know he's getting a lot of damage. Great. He did some great flanks. But he could have annihilated the allies. He could have annihilated them but he didn't he had recon he didn't and again once the munitions were gone he had less and less ability to do frag bomb strikes and stuff like that so they, the germans weren't able to do those they couldn't do an air strike so they were essentially left with going for a deep strike but every time they did it they would do it in such the most convoluted stupid way and lose everything and they would run into the biggest guns the, the allies had stationed ready and waiting for them. it oh my god um yeah so I think that's an apprentice. He did good. As British, again, fortifications were fine. I feel like he did fine guarding the north and kind of helping guard the star. Not really much I can say there. Decent amount of kills. Um, on the German side, yeah, PSR. While he did hold the south and did a decent job there, he's also the exact same reason why they lost. If he would have, if he would have engaged, if he would have pushed and hit those artillery pieces they were complaining so freaking much about, and maybe he took mid and stuff like that and placed mines everywhere and stuff like that, he could have easily, easily won the game for the uh germans it, it's just his 
slow reaction time and just like all over the place attitude. Like sometimes it would be like, I'm going in to help, but then it would lose the South. And it's like, what are you doing? They need that star and the fuel and everything. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Um, and also let's just take note that in this map, he literally let the ally like take this point. The AI took that point. Like freak sake, uh, pretty decent skill. I would say, um, he was pretty, again, pretty good. Uh, he lost a lot of forces. I would say he just had some decent hits, uh, but overall he was just okay. He was just fine. I know he got second line kills, but he was just good. Um, his King Tiger got a ton, so I'll give him credit there because he got a um, uh, very highly vetted King Tiger. So I'll, I'll give him credit there. Melfort. Melfort had a really good Yag Tiger. I really enjoyed that play. I think he got the Vet 5 still, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's still alive, by the way. 16 kills, and again, a majority of that. Yeah, it is infantry, but five kills on armor, that's not too bad. And if I had to guess how much damage that thing did, oh boy, I can only imagine. Uh, 54,000. So, Jackson's did tw almost twice as much, but still, it, it yeah, that's pretty damn good for a Yag Tiger, and especially keeping it alive for that long. Um, and, uh, yeah, in PGI, you did good in the beginning, but I feel like you kind of lost... You you lost everything once you lost the North. You didn't know what to do, and I could feel that. You did. You had some good, like... Uh, like charges in random directions, but you 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 would do well and then you would fuck it up. Like you would attack from behind and then you charge into an AT line. It's like what are you doing? He did get most damage. Uh, uh, sorry, most kills. I'll give you that. And most damage did go to Mel Force. I'm good credit there. But yeah, the Axis had this in the bag and they fucked it up. They absolutely like tripped over themselves at the finish line and let the Allies catch up and just beat them. Um, that's why it is important for recon. That's why it's important to find enemy like positions and trying to identify key strategic weak points in their lines and in that if you would have engaged them in the star keeping all their armor there while doing a flanking maneuver from behind you could have annihilated the entire allied force it would like literally i'm not even joking all the armor artillery would have been destroyed and then the armor looking the opposite way would have then get attacked from behind by that stuff and it would have been a complete collapse. It That would have been GG. But we didn't get that. And what we said, we got we a slugfest. Where the Germans complained about artillery and the Allies complained about the heavy armor. Which, again, makes sense. Because if the German player is going to keep you kept alive, they're going to get the highly vetted stuff up. As long as they keep their stuff alive. Meanwhile, the artillery is going to gain more veterancy the longer you don't kill it. So, of course. But, yeah. Um, that's going to be it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe for more content at Gracial Productions. It's been Gracial17, and I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Malam, White Hot D, Desant, Streaking Wookie, Sergeant McPain, Sebastian, Rifle, Pyroshark, Only Play Apples, Lashu, Just Play Thomas, Junior Chicklist, JP Val, Josh, Joey G, Chofo, Chris Bailey, Ace, Tim, Nathan Angus, Leonard Liu, Jordan Savat, and Aaron Yi. Thank you all for your amazing support. You're all incredible. Thank you again, and I'll see you guys next time.